So I just sat here and talked to my camera and I wasn't even recording. That's the kind of day I'm having. Okay, <laughs> hey everyone, it is Tuesday. It's Money Monday on a Tuesday. And today I am collabing with my friend Jessica from the Mommy Archives. Jessica's channel is all about natural living in a very authentic way. And I love her channel. I also love her as a human. She is a very good friend of mine. And I just appreciate her existence on earth. But today she is on her channel talking about how she and her husband not only live within their means, but below their means. And so today I wanted to share some tips on how to get started living within your means. I know that sounds very basic and not at all a sexy topic, but I truly honestly believe that it is small changes that have the biggest impact on our life. Let's dive in. As always, I have notes. All right, so number one, stop being paycheck poor. And what I mean by that is it's Monday. Where did all of your money go? Well, you got paid on Friday and then you went out to eat and you met friends for drinks and you went to a movie and then Saturday you went shopping to the grocery store and then maybe to Target on your way home and then Sunday you went out to brunch and then Monday you woke up and had no money. Sound familiar? A little bit? Don't spend money based on what's available to you. Instead, you have to budget. I know budgets don't sound fun, but they do give you a lot of freedom. You just have to tell your money where to go. You have to pre-allocate it. You can go out to brunch, you can go out to the movies, but plan for those things in advance or just have some money set aside for entertainment purposes. If you have never made a budget before, I will leave a link to a video to help you get started because it really is important and something honestly I still struggle with. I'll be real, I'm debt free and I still struggle to budget. Don't let your emotions dictate how you spend your money. This is a huge one for so many people. You get upset, you're going through a hard season of life and it's so easy to shop to fill that void, to shop to fill that emptiness, to shop to give yourself like a little high and make yourself feel better. But in the end, when that credit card bill comes in, you're not gonna feel very good for very long. So you have to try really hard to make thoughtful purchases, to not rob from your future because you feel bad now. So stop the emotional spending. Ask yourself, am I still gonna, ugh, I can't talk. Am I still gonna feel this way a week from now? Am I still gonna feel this way when I wake up tomorrow morning? You don't buy things just because they're on sale buy things on sale if you need them and you've been planning to purchase them by all means get the best deal but don't buy things just because they're on sale you guys might remember last year i decided i needed a new comforter and then i bought one because it was on sale and then i immediately hated it but i couldn't return it because i'd already slept on it for like a week <laughs> now i'm okay with it like i've gotten used to it but I wish that I had made a smarter purchase and hadn't just been like, oh, I need a comforter. I'm going to throw it in my cart and go home. Um, instead, be smart about your purchases. Ask yourself, do I really need this? Where am I going to put it? Do I have the money to spend it? Have I budgeted for it? Am I going to have to take the money from somewhere else? Ask yourself these questions before you buy things just because they're on sale. Don't spend money that you don't have yet. Now, this isn't the same as don't spend money you don't have. Like, don't put everything on your credit card, which I don't recommend doing either but don't spend money that hasn't been given to you yet. I see a lot of this around tax season when people are expecting a big tax return and they mentally spend money or they spend money on credit thinking that they can pay it back with their tax return and then their return does not turn out to be what they thought it would and then they end up in a bind. Don't be that person. Have cash in hand, have money in the bank before you decide to make these big purchases or set up savings goals, which is my next one. Start learning to say no to yourself and start learning to say yes to your future. It's delayed gratification. Everybody struggles with delayed gratification in one area of their life or another. And oftentimes that is money. We want what we want and we want it right now. I get it because right now I'm in a time of saving up for something big and I'm getting frustrated and I want it right now. I don't want to save anymore and keep working. I want it now. But you've got to work on setting savings goals for yourself. I'm saving up for a new car. That's a huge thing to save up cash for and it's taken longer than I thought it would. But when I drive off the lot in a car that I've paid cash for, it's gonna feel so 
good. So work on saying no to the now so that you can say yes to the future. So those are just some tips to help you along in your journey. If you have any tips to help people live within their means, just small simple, simple steps they could take, I would love to know about them. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have a money question that I can answer in an upcoming video. Be sure to check out Jessica's channel and I'll see you guys later. Bye.